Good morning, South Florida. I'm Jim Barry. And I'm Cynthia Demas. Here's what's making news right now. You proved once more that people who love this country can change it. President-elect Barack Obama is just one day away of becoming our new Commander-in-Chief. The local and national celebrations you're going to want to know about, we're going to tell you all about it. And it will be a chilly day up in D.C., expecting temperatures right around 30 degrees. Believe it or not, our temperatures dropping to the upper 30s in some locations. By the middle and the end of the week, I'll have that chilly forecast straight ahead. Also, closing some South Florida schools, how the financial crisis is causing some classrooms to shut down. Plus, it is set. The Super Bowl is coming to Florida. The Pittsburgh Steelers facing the Arizona Cardinals. How the two teams made it to Florida for the NFL's biggest game of the year. CBS 4 News this morning starts right now. From Miami-Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. Time now is 6.01 on Monday, January 19th, MLK Day. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Jim Barry. And I'm Cynthia Demas. Let's check into Alice's hair now with our first forecast. I hope it's a good one because we got a lot of parades, a lot of things going on today. Mm -hmm. Well, the only thing is that we could be dealing with a couple of showers and it'll be warming up later on, Cynthia and Jim. But for right now, looking good out there. Cool to start. Temperatures in the upper 50s and 60s. So here's what you can expect. A lot of parades and events going on and whether you are planning on participating in those festivities to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. or you just have the day off and you're going to be out and about running errands. Plan on the chance of some showers, a mix of sun and clouds and a warm up up to 79 degrees this evening. 70 degrees. Now why are we expecting the chance of showers? We've got this cold front already making its way across the southwest coast and you can see all the rain associated with it. That's all going to be pressing down south. So in addition to that later on tonight this cold front is going to drop our temperatures but then we've got yet another cold front on the way that's really going to bring us the cool down. So we'll talk talk more about that and as you can see temperatures up in DC around 26 degrees we'll take a look at the national temperatures as well the details in that forecast straight ahead right now we're going to send it back to you Jim and Cynthia we have got some really cold air the coldest air of the season coming back uh, yeah boy. Jim's all excited about that I am he wants to wear his snuggie you know yeah, that blanket with the arms the snuggie <laughs> I want to get you one of those you're gonna need it in the middle of the week <laughs> Think yeah. I look good in that? Yeah, I think you'd look good. And All I right. might need it in my car because my, my heater's still broken. Christina. But at least there won't be much traffic today, I wouldn't think. <laughs> Christina yeah. wants a Snuggie, too. You know, I have a Snuggie, <laughs> You actually. do not. I have a Snuggie and every other tacky item that you could buy over the television without having to get out and enter a store. Good morning to you. Temperature-wise today, as Lisette just said, it's going to be nice for a parade, but it could rain on your parade, so grab an umbrella as you head out that door. 9 a.m., Mitchell Moore Park in Pompano. That's when the parade starts there. It'll head south down Northwest 8th Street to Martin Luther King Boulevard, east then down Esterol Avenue and ending at Ely High School in Pompano Beach. So that's one of the parades you have an option of attending. And then we have another one to tell you about at 10 a.m. Hallandale at BF James Park, Northwest 2nd Ave. It'll head down 9th Street down to Hallandale Beach Boulevard and it'll end at Northwest 8th Avenue. Of course, we have all these parades for you up at CBS4.com and we'll continue to update you throughout the morning. For CBS4 Traffic, I'm Christina Loren. Nearly 46 years after his words stirred the country, the nation celebrates Martin Luther King's birthday, and President-elect Barack Obama looked out over the same reflecting pool in Washington, D.C., as he gets ready to fulfill his own American dream. The president-elect certainly believes in it and says that in this nation, anything is possible. He's living proof of that. On Sunday, Mr. Obama and the vice president-elect went to a pre-inauguration concert at Lincoln Memorial, and it was a blast. Today, both Barack Obama and Joe Biden are going to a community service event. CBS 4's Joel Brown has more from Washington. President-elect Obama is paying tribute to a man who helped pave the way for change. Directly in front of us is a pool that still reflects the dream of a king. He'll spend today honoring Martin Luther King Jr. by taking part in a community renovation project. The future 44th president was just two years old when the civil rights activist delivered his historic speech. I have a dream that my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. With his own children looking on, the president-elect echoed King's sentiment Sunday before a crowd of more than 400,000. I stand here today as hopeful as ever that the United States of America 
will endure, that it will prevail, that the dream of our founders will live on in our time. Mr. Obama's just one day away from becoming the country's first black president, and nearly two million people are flocking to the nation's capital to be a part of that history. D.C. hotels are filled to capacity with the onslaught of spectators. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I couldn't miss that. Months in the making, the inaugural speech will focus on themes of responsibility and restoring public confidence. Aides say the president-elect is relieved to have a version of Tuesday's address down on paper and eager to both give the speech and then go to work. In Washington, Joel Brown, CBS 4 News. Now, police officers from across South Florida are heading to the nation's capital to help with inauguration security. Some of them say they are excited to witness history, no doubt, but they will miss the South Florida sunshine. More than 100 officials from 58 federal, state, and local agencies will oversee what figures to be the biggest security operation in inaugural history. Police officers aren't the only ones from South Florida on their way to D.C. Many South Floridians are making the trek north to witness history themselves. CBS 4's Leif Davalos is live at the Golden Glades in northwest Miami-Dade, where travelers for change are going on their bus tour, leaving in, what, less than an hour? What's the time frame looking like, Leif? Yeah, Cynthia, they're leaving actually at 6.30, so yeah, uh, like 25 minutes or so. Um, they are packed up. They've got their sweaters, their mittens, their, their glove warmers, anything to try to keep warm because it's cool here, but it's colder in Washington, D.C. You can see them behind me. They've already arrived here. Um, they've parked their cars. They've <clears throat> unloaded uh, their trunks, put their things into the buses, and they're already on the bus. It started out with one bus. And as we're spread quickly, it turned into a three bus a caravan at the organizers of this bus tour, Beverly Williams of Lauderdale Lakes, wanted to make it affordable for people to get to Washington, D.C. So for 160 bucks, dozens of people signed up to make the 17 hour trip and come back immediately after the inauguration. Some parents are also taking their kids along to watch President elect Barack Obama take the oath of office. About 150 people are going on this bus tour. Many arrived this morning, filling up three buses, all of them excited to be part of history. I'm going because I'm, I'm an Obama supporter, 100 percent, 100 percent. And I just want to go and give my support. And I'm just enthused for all of the um, people that came out to vote this year. And I'm just I'm just overwhelmed and just enthused and, and just just charged up. <laughs> it's, it's beyond words. Uh, I have people and families think I'm crazy to go to Washington 19 hours on a bus trip and all the millions of people that's going to be there, but I could not be in Miami and not be a part of this historical event. Uh, I, even if I don't see the swearing in or the parade or other festivity, I just want to be in the city. A lot of excitement there. The Travelers for a Change bus tour will head out of here at about 6.30. Ready for a long ride, but one they say will be well worth it. We're live in Northwest Miami Dade. Leave Davalo, CBS 4 News this morning. All right, leave CBS 4 and CBS4.com have got you covered for tomorrow's inauguration. From the middle of the action in Washington, D.C., to everything going on right here in South Florida. Keep it here on CBS 4. Meantime, South Florida will hold a series of events to commemorate the Martin Luther King holiday in Miami. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Alvarez will host a breakfast this morning at Jungle Island, and parades will also be held in Hallandale Beach, Pompano Beach, as well as Liberty City. Today, the civil rights leader would have turned 80, and to mark the event, his oldest son, Martin Luther King III, and Reverend Al Sharpton will host a rally in Washington, D.C. Now, because of the holiday, everything will not be business as usual. In Miami-Dade and Broward, public transportation will run, trash will be picked up, and parks will be open. But federal, state, county, and municipal offices will all be closed. So will public schools and libraries. All post offices and most banks will also be shut down in observance of the holiday. The financial fallout on Wall Street could shut down some South Florida schools. Save our school! Save our school! The Archdiocese of Miami says it lost so much money in the stock market, it's closing Sacred Heart Elementary in Homestead and St. Stephen's Catholic School in Miramar. The schools are among a dozen that are subsidized with annual contributions. The Archdiocese says it will try to help those displaced students. The Archdiocese, as long as along with St. Stephen's, is going to make every effort possible to provide a space for any child who wants to continue a Catholic education by finding them a, a place in a local Catholic school uh, in, our, in our area. More schools could be on the chopping block. The Archdiocese is expected to make a major announcement on Thursday. 
Well, you remember those mothers on the hunger strike to protest the school budget? Today is day seven of their hunger strike. And they're also planning to hold a rally this morning. Viviana Salmon is leading the group of parents that's been on strike at Ronald Reagan High School since, since Tuesday in Doral. They're protesting drastic cuts in the state education budget, and they're asking all moms who are concerned about the education of their kids to join them for a rally today. This morning, police are investigating a deadly armed robbery in southwest Miami-Dade. Authorities say an officer shot and killed an armed robber Sunday at the Winn-Dixie off 88th Avenue and 24th Street. It's unclear exactly what happened, but police say they were forced to open fire. The victim's name has not been released. You've heard of smash and grab. Now thieves in South Florida again decide to rip and run. The best buy at 40th Street and 20th Avenue in Hialeah was the sixth electronic store burglarized in the past two weeks. Police believe the suspects hooked a chain to several cars and used it to rip off the doors. Four people have been arrested. No word on exactly how much was taken. Well, nine cats have eight lives left this morning after a condo fire in Davie. The fire broke out on the 9500 block of Sea Grape Drive Sunday afternoon. Everybody was evacuated and the fire was quickly put out. But firefighters went back inside to rescue a lady's cats. The nine felines were treated for minor smoke inhalation. Let's get a look at for your money this morning. Wall Street is closed today because of Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. On Friday, stocks finished the week on a high note with the Dow gaining about 69 points. Unemployment, though, will go up in nearly all major American cities this year. A forecast released by the U.S. Conference of Mayors says New York is expected to take the biggest hit with more than 180,000 jobs lost. Miami is expected to lose 85,000 jobs. Ithaca, New York, Fairbanks, Alaska, and St. George, Utah, and a handful of other cities are expected to see an employment just stay flat or maybe even go up in those smaller towns. A lot of Americans are facing the same problem these days. They can't afford to pay their mortgage. An Associated Press study shows nearly one out of every five homeowners with a mortgage spend more than 38 percent of their income on their mortgage payment, property taxes, and insurance. The most financially burdened homeowners are in the Northeast, uh, in California, Nevada, and also here in Florida. So they spend 38% of their income. What's the normal number you, you should spend? I think it should, should be no more than 33%. 33%. We have a, yeah. a financial expert is actually in the house, so we're going to mm -hmm. talk to him about that. Uh, he's in the studios here at CBS4, and he's going to explain that. We're also going to talk about how the election is expected to affect the stock market as well. All righty. Plenty to talk about uh, coming up on CBS4 News this morning. Also, the plane is now out of the water where the U.S. Airways jet this morning resides. And what's next about it in the investigation? Plus, South Florida has some new manatees and mermaids this morning. Thank you very much. Who was chosen and how many were chosen to represent Marlins baseball? Where are you, Cynthia? Right, right there. I'm the one. In the, oh, there I am. The one with I, the I, stomach I, showing I there. didn't see you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, was, oh, All right. You yeah. look good there. From Americana Village to Andrews Gardens and from Key Haven to Huntington. Relax, honey. <laughs> I didn't make the CBS team. CBS 4 News is covering your South Florida neighborhood. <laughs> this CBS 4 traffic report is a service of Mahatma Rice. Rediscover home cooking with Mahatma Rice. For great meal ideas, visit MahatmaRice.com. Oprah goes to Washington, D.C. It's a store goal! Mr. President! From the Kennedy Center. Surprise guest. Two world premieres. A star-studded celebration. Next Oprah. Today at 4 on CBS 4. From great deals at local restaurants to fashion and more, she'll show you how to have fun and look fabulous, all on a budget. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo, part of the For Your Money team, only on CBS 4 News. Ever seen the inside of your air ducts? I'd never even thought about what could be hiding in mine until Stanley Steamer showed me. I couldn't believe we were breathing all that stuff. The Stanley Steamer technicians did an awesome job with their state-of-the-art equipment. Now we're all breathing a little easier. Call today and have 10 vents cleaned for $1.99. We all have internal plumbing, but for some of us, it can be a problem. You know, frequent, sudden bladder urges. You worry your pipes might leak, so it's hard to always do things spur of the moment. If you've had enough, talk to your doctor about taking care with Vesicare. Vesicare, once a day, can help control your bladder muscles so it can help reduce urges and leaks day and night. 
If you have certain stomach problems, glaucoma, or trouble emptying your bladder, do not take Vesicare. Tell your doctor right away if you have a serious allergic reaction, severe abdominal pain, or become constipated for three or more days. Vesicare may cause blurred vision, so take care while driving or doing unsafe tasks. Common side effects are dry mouth, constipation, and indigestion. Fewer urges and leaks. The chance to be more spontaneous. Vesicare can make a difference. Ask your doctor today about taking care with Vesicare. City Furniture has a spectacular selection of dining rooms. For just $4.99, you can get a great looking dining room set. You'll love our selection of styles and finishes, all in stock at the guaranteed lowest price. Plus, City Furniture now offers same day delivery, seven days a week, and no payments for one full year. All right, let's talk about For Your Money this morning. We have Lane Jones here with Eventsky and Katz Wealth Management. He's part of the For Your Money team. We are going to stick uh, together here to get through this financial crisis. New year, hopefully that means new things. Let's talk about what everyone's talking about. That's the inauguration, and how is it going to affect our bottom dollar? Well, hopefully we get some boost to morale in terms of investment sentiment and uh, get the markets moving again. Uh, it should uh, a short week because of the inauguration. A lot of people watching on Tuesday, today closed. So, how much news actually gets filtered in there? Um, who knows? But uh, should get some boost. We will hear about the stimulus package in the days that follow. We will hear also about the TARP money, which they got released from the Senate. Uh, how exactly they use that money? They're now waffling back and forth a little bit on what to do. But uh, those are the things we'll hear in the days following. Good news, uh, if the market hears what it likes on those two subjects, we hopefully we'll get moving from here. Well, you say the inauguration will have an effect because of the positivity and the hope, and how long is this high going to last in well, the, when yeah, it I comes mean, to the stock market? The honeymoon market? period is normally six months or so. This, huh. this is probably you know pretty important right now that these things get settled. So. I think people are looking for immediate answers now as to what's going to happen. Yeah, you're not kidding. Let's talk about earnings season. What is it and um, yeah, where is it going? It, well, every quarter, uh, folks report, the, the, all the major companies in the U.S. report uh, how they did in the prior three months. And this is just the kickoff for earnings season for what happened in the fourth quarter. Not going to look like it's going to be very good in terms of uh, what people did in those three months. But uh, it's all about where they come relative to expectations. So they had talked about earnings being down at least 20 percent in the fourth quarter. If we come in a little better than that, market should rally. If we come in worse than that, recession's getting worse. Uh, so IBM, Google, Microsoft, uh, General Electric in particular, all announcing this week. All right, let's get to your tip of the week now that you have for us, Lane. Yeah, take a financial snapshot. Uh, it's a time of new beginnings. Uh, first off, open your statements. Uh, I can't tell you the number of folks I say that just are afraid to even assess where they are financially. Okay. Open those statements, get to know where you're at. Know your portfolio, and know what you own and why you, why you own it. Uh, always a good thing. They say rebuy your portfolio every day. That's figuratively, not literally, of course. <laughs> and uh, watch your credit. Uh, these days, credit limits are changing. Credit scores as a result are changing, and therefore credit card rates are changing. Stay on top of it. Clarify one thing for me. Open your statements. I, I mean, I was always under the impression the past six months, don't look at your 401k. Well, I mean. That's a different story? You want, no, it isn't. You want to know how you're invested. I mean, if, if you're trying to emotionally keep yourself anchored to not <laughs> making the wrong decision because you're in a panic mode, that's one thing. I don't think it is good advice to simply stick your head in the sand and not know where you are. All right. Open your mail, folks. Maybe you won the lottery. Mm -hmm. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Thanks for that, Lane. Thanks, time Lane. now is 618. A lot of folks don't want to know, though. Yeah. Ah, ignorance is bliss. 619 is the time. Uh, we've got a lot of parades on tap today since it is MLK Day. So, Lisette Gonzalez, uh, is the weather going to cooperate or maybe not? Well, we're starting off cool and calm, but then later on, Jim and Cynthia, we're expecting the chance of some showers and also the warmth. So keep that in mind, whether you're headed to the parades or maybe you happen to be heading to work today or maybe you're just going to be out and about running your area. Right now, if you're going to be stepping outside, you will need a light sweater and a jacket. But later on, boy, you're going to be peeling off a layer because it is going to be warming up. So I think today it's all about dressing in layers. Right now, a marathon waking up with 58 degrees. The winds out of the west, light west candle 56. Pompano 59 degrees. You can see those winds moving in mainly out of the southwest and west. And that's all ahead of a cold front that is going to produce the chance of some shower activity throughout the day today and then dropping our temperatures tonight. And let's take a look at the rest of the country because.
because many of you may be planning still on heading to D.C. for the big inauguration tomorrow. The Travelers for Change, they're hopping on that bus, on the three buses. Definitely pack your winter coat, whether you're headed up there on a plane or via bus, because you are going to need to bundle up tomorrow. Temperatures expected around inauguration time in the 30s, so it is going to be freezing for all the millions of people that will be there for a historic event. And as you can see right now, still very cold in Atlanta, 35 degrees, the teens and single digits for Minneapolis. This is actually an improvement from last week where we had sub-zero temperatures, but we do have some very cold Arctic air that will be plunging down south across the eastern half of the country. So believe it or not, although right now Miami waking up with 58 degrees, by the time Thursday morning rolls around, we are going to see the potential for mid to upper 30. So a big chill on the way. But in the meantime, ahead of that cold front that's just to our north across uh, central Florida and bringing shower activity already to the southwest coast, we're going to be warm and humid. But this cold front will be sliding down south. And along with it, the chance of showers, 50% chance today. It is also humid out there. And temperatures will be well above average this afternoon with a chance of a few showers. So here comes that cold front, the first of two. And that means tomorrow morning, a little bit cooler with a breeze, a spotty shower. And here comes the stronger cold front number two Tuesday into Wednesday, waking up on Wednesday morning with the upper 40s. Very cold wind, lots of sunshine, high pressure in control. 30s possible when you wake up Thursday morning for inland locations, especially high pressure ridge will be shifting to the east by the end of the week. We're going to see a warming trend by Friday with a mix of sun and clouds. So get ready for a little bit of a roller coaster ride in terms of the digits today. 79 degrees. Enjoy the warm weather today because we're going to start to see the dip in degrees. Breezy with a chance of a few showers. Gulfstream advisory in effect, so really not a great day for boating. Moderate top on the base tonight. Temperatures dropping 58 degrees, so here we go. Tomorrow, 73 degrees. Chance of spotty showers by Wednesday, 40. Then the afternoon high, 61. And not since last January have we had such cold temperatures. 38 degrees in some locations. Waking up Thursday morning, then 67 the high for the afternoon. Friday morning, 47. Then a milder trend, 73 by the end of the week. Right now, let's send it over to Christine Lorenz and see how your traffic is looking this morning. Good morning, Christina. Good morning to you, Lisette. Good morning to you at home. We do have a few crashes to tell you about, so let's start by taking it to the maps. Congestion very light across all of South Florida, as to be expected this holiday morning. We do have a crash working right now on 95 at the 595 intersection, another one at the turnpike at the 595 intersection, both headed southbound. No real delays. Just keep that in mind as you head out that front door if you are doing so. We have another crash right now on the Palmetto Expressway at Okeechobee. Meanwhile, here is where the action is today. Freedom March and Parade in Deerfield Beach will start at 10 a.m. at Pioneer Park, traveling down Hillsborough Boulevard, ending at Westside Park. That's at 10 a.m. And then this morning as well, up in Broward County, we have another event to tell you about in the Fort Lauderdale area. And this is at Martin Luther King looks like middle school so keep that in mind this morning and if you are catching a flight heading up to the big inauguration tomorrow expect delays not just because there's a weather system headed that way also because of the great deal of volume that they're anticipating you can always check ahead see how severe those delays are by logging on to cbs4.com just click on traffic for cbs4 traffic i'm christine loren Thank you, Christina. The U.S. Airways jet that landed on the Hudson River is on the move again. It was carried by a barge Sunday night and towed by tugboats. The jet was moved from a seawall just a few blocks away from the World Trade Center site. Well, this morning it is parked in New Jersey so investigators can continue to look it over. The plane's black box is revealed. It lost power in both engines after climbing to 3,200 feet. All 155 passengers survived Thursday's crash. Meantime, an aide to President-elect Barack Obama says all five members of the flight crew have been invited to tomorrow's inauguration. Quite a treat for nice them. Nice treat for them. I'm yeah. reading the NTSB report mm -hmm. where they interviewed the pilots, and it says that they saw the geese flying in a perfect formation, then they hit the windshield, then they went into the engines. They could smell them oh, the my cooking goodness. in the engines. Yeah. And that's when they started to go down. Wow. Unbelievable. It is. All right, Super Bowl 43 is set. Yeah, it is. How two teams scored a place to come to Tampa to play in the Super Bowl. You're watching CBS 4 News this morning. The Arizona Cardinals in the Super Bowl. Is that a football team? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, were a joke for quite a while. Now they're not anymore. We're back right after the break. This traffic report brought to you by IKEA. Visit an IKEA store near you or IKEA.com. If you've been thinking about leasing your next car, you've probably noticed that some auto companies have discontinued the practice, not Honda. Our cars and trucks hold their value better. In fact, Honda has the highest residual value of any other car company. Just one of the reasons we can offer leasing and financing programs when others cannot. 
Things look a little brighter now, don't they? Honda. Simple. Lease a 2009 Honda Civic for $189 a month for well-qualified customers. Don't you wish we could just... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what... Why don't we? I mean, really, I mean, what's stopping us, right? Yeah, we should totally do this. Let's stay. We're staying. It's going to be great. <laughs> Let's talk Colorado at Colorado.com. Mom says nothing good ever happens after midnight. So I make a giant tent bed and Murphy jumps in. We have three night light, a starfish, a princess, and a rainbow. Dad says my room looks like Vegas. <laughs> my advice to you, don't go out after dark. Ooh, the dark is scary. No telephones out there, right, Murph? <laughs> Fact, kitchen grease happens. So does bathroom scum. Fear not. There's Lysol 4-in-1 Lemon All-Purpose Cleaner. It's better on tough grease than the leading all-purpose cleaner. The leading bathroom cleaner can't beat it either. And it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Lysol 4-in-1 for the toughest places to clean. Lysol. Disinfect to protect. Also try Lysol 4-in-1 Pourables. Welcome back. Time now, 626. Super Bowl 43, all set. The Pittsburgh Steelers will take on the upstart Arizona Cardinals in Tampa in a couple of weeks. CBS 4's Prims Ripapad has more on how the teams earned the trip. Well, good morning, everyone. Well, two teams are out. The other two are on a trip to Tampa and Super Bowl 43. Now, Arizona has been the joke of the league for years. Not anymore. They're going to get tricky here. Tim Hightower to Kurt Warner. Warner, he's going to sail one deep and connects with Larry Fitzgerald on the other end. One of Fitzgerald's three touchdowns in the first half. Cardinals up big at the break, 24 to 6. Second half, Donovan McNabb hits Brent Stella. He stays up for a 31-yard touchdown. Eagles are within five. Fourth quarter, McNabb sees Deshaun Jackson all the way down the field. He bobbles it, but takes it in for a 62-yard score. Cardinals have completely blown their lead. Eagles up by one, but the Redbirds respond. A screen to Hightower. He butts heads, but makes it in for the touchdown. That does it. So Arizona beats Philly 32-25. to It will be the first Super Bowl of ever in franchise history. The AFC Championship game up in Pittsburgh. Ben Roethlisberger throws it up. He manages to hook up with Santonio Holmes. He gets by one, then two defenders, and after that, it's all good for him. He's going to make it safely in for a 65-yard touchdown. Steelers take a 13-0 lead over the Ravens. Baltimore responds. Former Hurricane Willis McGahee waltzes in for a three-yard touchdown. Ravens on the board. Steelers up 13-7 at the half. Fast forward to the fourth quarter. McGahee with his second touchdown of the day. Ravens pull within two. Willis would later lead the game with a neck injury. He would be all right, though. Later, Troy Palomalu comes up with a big interception on Joe Flacco. Palomalu with his flying hair and all flies by all the Baltimore defenders. He returns it back 40 yards for the touchdown. Steelers win 23-14. They will face the Arizona Cardinals in Super Bowl 43. That'll be in two weeks in Tampa. That'll do it for sports. I'm Prims Ripabat. Back to you guys. All righty, the Arizona Cardinals. For years, they were a laughing stock, and now they got game. They sure do. We're back right after the break. Yep. Looking for a meal that fills you up but doesn't empty your wallet? Pollo Tropical's mouth-watering quarter chicken meal with any two of our delicious sides is only $3.99 for a limited time. Pollo Tropical. It's time to Pollo. Your favorite shows and all the day's news. Here's what's on CBS4 tonight. Brought to you by your South Florida Audi dealers. Truth in engineering. If you were injured in a car accident, would you call Steinger, Isco, and Green? Absolutely. The insurance companies have lawyers on their side. You should have a lawyer on yours, too. Sure I would. You make one call and let them help you with all the hassles. Well, it could be a smart choice. You don't pay anything unless they win your case. If I were injured, I want all the help I could get. Wouldn't you? If you've been injured, call Steinger, Isco, and Green. 1 800 561 1111. Not all your spokespersons. You see a son who doesn't get his kicks from algebra. Sylvan sees a learning plan to make his goals. You see a daughter who'd rather rock than write an essay. 
Sylvan sees a way to improve her study skills. Call Sylvan now. Sylvan creates a personalized learning plan to build lasting skills, habits, and attitudes for success today and tomorrow. Get started at Sylvan for as little as $95. In 36 hours of instruction, your child will improve one grade level guaranteed. There's more to see with Comcast Digital Cable. For a limited time, get digital cable with Showtime for just $39.99 a month for six months. Including thousands of on-demand choices, you can start whenever you want. And with Showtime On Demand, you can watch the latest movies and critically acclaimed original series anytime. You won't get that with satellite. Comcast Digital Cable with Showtime. Now just $39.99 a month for six months. Hurry, call 1-800-COMCAST today. Poor, pure, perfection. Perfect every cup of coffee with the rich and creamy goodness of Lando Lakes Half and Half. Looking for a meal that fills you up but doesn't empty your wallet? Pollo Tropical's mouth-watering quarter chicken meal with any two of our delicious sides is only $3.99 for a limited time. Pollo Tropical. It's time to Pollo. From Miami Dade, Broward, and the Keys, this is South Florida CBS 4 News. Good morning. Time now is 631. Thank you so much for waking up with us this Monday morning. We know Mondays can be hard, but it is a holiday today. Yeah, so they could just kick back and relax and watch us as opposed to listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just relax yeah. this morning. I'm Cynthia Demas alongside Jim Barry. Here and the seconds, Alice is standing by to tell us more about the uh, MLK holiday weather forecast. Oh, yeah. Very special day today, Jim and Cynthia. And a lot going on. Parades, festivities, or maybe you're just going to meet up with friends and family if you have the day off and if you're headed to work. This is what you need to know in terms of the weather right now cool to start we're seeing the mid to upper 50s even 60 degrees in Fort Lauderdale and the coolest spot in Homestead 54 degrees but temperatures will be warming up quickly and in addition to the warmth we're expecting the possibility of showers so if you are headed to the parade or the festivities you can expect uh, the chance of a uh, rain uh, and wet weather moving through so take your umbrella with you the high 79 degrees this evening 70 degrees but then we are expecting a cool down as you can see we've got a cold front already bringing some shower activity to southwest coast straight across central Florida and this first cold front is going to bring us a dip in the degrees tonight into tomorrow but then we're expecting those temperatures to drop even more with a second cold front on the way the coldest air of the season we're talking about the possibility of the 30s in some inland locations Jim and Cynthia possibly by Thursday morning so it is really going to get chilly here in South Florida many of you may be tired of the cold weather but it looks like it's going to get even colder as we get towards the middle of the end of the week. Day. All right, let me go dig up my long johns. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> and it's going to be in the 30s on the inauguration in D.C. Now, you live there, so. Oh, yeah, this time of year, 32 degrees in D.C., that's okay. That's fine. That's good weather, right? Yeah, yeah, as long as it's not windy. All right, yeah, all right. Keep the wind that. away. Let's mm. uh, check out how traffic is uh, being affected by our weather here this morning. What, what do you say? Well, you know, I think it's being more affected by the holiday than the weather, but if you are headed to work, and those showers that Lissette just talked about are becoming an impact. It looks like we have some light scattered showers right now in the Golden Glade but really no accidents to report in Dade County. We have one in the very final clearing stage. This is on the Palmetto at Okeechobee. That was a pretty bad accident earlier. It is now in the final clearing stage. It should be cleared out of there in about 15 minutes. Then we have a crash working right now. Turnpike at 595 headed southbound 95 at 595 southbound as well. You'll find a couple accidents in that neck of the woods, but for the most part traffic moving up to speed in all locations due to the holiday. Now if you're going to be out in about 930 AM kicks off a patriotic march at Martin Luther King Elementary in Fort Lauderdale. That's Northwest 31st Ave. And you'll find a parade today on the city streets of Hallandale, traveling down BF James Park, starting at BF James Park, traveling down Northwest 2nd Ave to 9th Street, then down Hallandale Beach Boulevard, ending at Northwest 8th Avenue. We'll continue to update you on the status of your highways and all the events for today. For CBS 4 Traffic, I'm Christina Loren. <laughs> All right, the countdown is pretty much over. We're just one day away now from Obama's inauguration. The president-elect says he believes in the American dream and that anything is possible. And he has certainly proved that. On Sunday, Mr. Obama and the vice president-elect attended a pre-inauguration concert at the Lincoln Memorial. Just about every performer that you can think of was there. Today, both Barack Obama and Joe Biden are going to a community service event to honor Martin Luther King Jr. Mr. Obama was just two years old when the civil rights activist delivered his historic speech in Washington. The president-elect echoed King's sentiment Sunday before a crowd of more than 400,000.
I stand here today as hopeful as ever that the United States of America will endure, that it will prevail, that the dream of our founders will live on in our time. Nearly two million people are flocking to the nation's capital to witness the nation's first African-American to be sworn in as president. And police officers from across South Florida are heading to the nation's capital to help with the inauguration and the security there. Some of them say they are very excited to witness history. They say they wish it was a little bit warmer, though, because we're so used to the South Florida sunshine. More than 100 officials from 58 federal, state, and local agencies will oversee what figures to be the biggest security operation in inaugural history, and we hope our South Florida law enforcement has the proper heavy coats to go up there. I'm sure they will and will represent well. Well, police officers are not the only ones from South Florida bound for D.C. Many South Floridians are making the trek north to witness history. In fact, a lot of them are boarding buses in what is called the Travelers for Change bus tour. CBS Rose Leave Davalos caught up with them before they left from Golden Glades. Well, it started out with one bus, and as word quickly spread, it turned into a bus caravan with about three buses filled about 150 people. You see folks here getting ready to head out on this bus tour. The organizer of the bus tour, Beverly Williams of Lauderdale Lakes, wanted to make it affordable for folks to get to Washington, D.C. So for 160 bucks, hundreds of people signed up to make the 17-hour trip and come back immediately after the inauguration. Some parents are taking their kids along to watch President-elect Barack Obama take the oath of office. All these people signed up. They're going on this bus tour, filling up three buses, all of them excited to be part of history. I'm going because I'm, I'm an Obama supporter 100 percent, 100 percent. And I just want to go and give my support. And I'm just enthused for all of the um, people that came out to vote this year. And I'm just I'm just overwhelmed and just enthused and, and just just charged up. <laughs> it's, it's beyond words. Uh, I have people and family think I'm crazy to go to Washington 19 hours on a bus trip and all the millions of people that's going to be there, but I could not be in Miami and not be a part of this historical event. Uh, I, even if I don't see the swearing in or the parade or other f festivity, I just want to be in the city. Folks on the Travelers for a Change bus tour say they are all excited. They are prepared for a long ride, but they say it will be well worth it. In Northwest Miami, Dade, leave Davalos, CBS 4 News this morning. And CBS 4 and CBS4.com have you covered for tomorrow's inauguration. From the middle of the action in Washington to the reaction here in South Florida. South Florida will hold a series of events to commemorate the Martin Luther King holiday. In Miami, Mayor Day, Miami Dade Mayor Carlos Alvarez will host a breakfast at Jungle Island. Parades will also be held in Hallandale Beach, Pompano Beach, and Liberty City. Today, the civil rights leader would have turned 80 to mark the event. His oldest son, Martin Luther King, the third and Reverend Al Sharpton will host a rally in Washington, D.C. And because of the holiday, everything will not be business as usual in Miami-Dade and Broward. Public transportation will run, trash will be picked up, and parks will be open. But federal, state, county, and municipal offices will be closed. So will public schools and libraries, all post offices, and most banks will also be shut down in observance of the holiday. Well, the financial fallout on Wall Street could shut down some South Florida schools. The Archdiocese of Miami says it lost so much money in the stock market, it is closing Sacred Heart Elementary in Homestead and St. Stephen's Catholic School in Miramar. The schools are among a dozen that are subsidized with annual contributions. The Archdiocese says it will try to help the displaced students. The Archdiocese, as long as along with St. Stephen's, is going to make every effort possible to provide a space for any child who wants a continuing Catholic education by finding them a, a place in a local Catholic school uh, in our in our area and more schools could be on the chopping block the archdiocese is expected to make a major announcement on thursday the mothers on a hunger strike to protest school budget cuts are now on day seven they will hold a rally this morning led by viviana salmon a group of parents has been on strike at ronald reagan high school in doral since tuesday they are protesting drastic cuts in the state education budget and they're asking that all mothers who are concerned about the education of their kids to join them for today's rally this morning, police are investigating a deadly armed robbery in southwest Miami-Dade. Here's what happened. Authorities say an officer shot and killed an armed robber Sunday at the Winn-Dixie off of 88th Avenue and 24th Street. It's unclear what happened, but police say they were forced to open fire. The victim's name has not been released. 
Turning to news for your money this morning, Wall Street, of course, is closed today because of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. On Friday, stocks finished the week on a high note, with the Dow gaining nearly 69 points. Well, unemployment will go up in nearly all major American cities this year. A forecast released by the U.S. Conference of Mayors says New York should take the biggest hit by losing more than 180,000 jobs. Miami is projected to lose 85,000 jobs. However, Ithaca, New York, Fairbanks, Alaska, and St. George, Utah are among a handful of cities expected to see employment stay flat or actually go up slightly. Well, a lot of Americans are facing the same problem these days. It's their housing expense. An Associated Press study shows nearly one out of every five homeowners with a mortgage spent over 38% of their income on their mortgage payment, property taxes, and insurance. The most financially burdened homeowners are in the Northeast, in California, Nevada, and also, unfortunately, right here in Florida. Hmm. Well, we're going to have a financial advisor in the studio here live to talk about a number of things. Yeah, maybe refinancing would help some folks because rates now are way low. Yeah, that's a good idea. Also coming up, how the inauguration will affect your pocketbook. Yeah, I'll talk about that too. And a consumer alert for you this morning. You're going to want to hear this. What type of peanut butter products you need to get rid of? It's the peanut butter thing again. You're watching CBS 4 News this morning. Good morning, everyone. It's flu season, so protect yourself and your family. Follow these three lines of defense to fight the flu. We call it Take Three. Get vaccinated, stop germs, and use antiviral medications. Your clinician can prescribe antivirals to prevent or treat the flu and reduce symptoms by attacking the virus. Typical flu symptoms include fever, aches, and tiredness. Contact your medical provider if you develop these symptoms. Visit flufacts.com to learn more about protecting you and your family. That's incredible. I love it. My husband gives me one every morning. Craft Bagelfuls, delicious Philadelphia cream cheese spread inside a golden toasted bagel. Aren't you afraid someone's going to steal it? Get a dollar off to try Bagelfuls at bagelfuls.com. It begins at 10 a.m. Friday. It ends at 9 p.m. Monday. It's the Carl's Furniture four-day sale. This Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, every item in every department will be marked down 40 to 50%. Plus, take $150 off your purchase for every $1,000 you spend. You'll pay nothing till 2010. So save 40 to 50%. Plus, take $150 off your purchase for every $1,000 you spend at Carl's four-day sale. Friday through Monday at all Carl's Furniture locations. A single CSX train carries the load of 280 trucks. Imagine what that can do for your drive. CSX, how tomorrow moves. There's a reason some things are made just for kids. Like Miami Children's Hospital. It's the only freestanding hospital in South Florida dedicated exclusively to children. From routine checkups to the most complex cases, Miami Children's Hospital is a perfect fit. This is it. Comcast's biggest deal on internet service right now. Yours for as low as $14.99 a month. Get speeds way faster than dial-up. A reliable always-on connection. Search safely with McAfee Security Suite and more. Get Comcast's lowest price on internet service right now and start saving today. Internet service from Comcast has low as $14.99 a month for 12 months. Call 1-800-COMCAST. Hurry, sale ends soon. Not max worthy. At CarMax, only the most worthy are max worthy. Check out our thoroughly inspected vehicles at CarMax.com. Not max worthy. At CarMax, only the most worthy are max worthy. Check out all our guaranteed reliable cars at CarMax.com. Time now is 6.44. We're going to talk your money with our financial expert, Lane Jones from Avinsky and Cass Wealth Management. And uh, Lane, I want to start out by talking to you about the fact that the inauguration, of course, everybody knows that, is uh, tomorrow. 
The new president sworn in on Tuesday. So tell us, will the market leap a thousand points on Wednesday? <laughs> well, it depends on how good the speech is, right? <laughs> yeah. um, I, I would expect that we'll get some boost in terms of the enthusiasm of the event, hope mm -hmm. for uh, a new beginning, <clears throat> pardon me, will probably overwhelm some of this really awful 2008 sentiment. But uh, whether it gets cold water dumped on it by earnings, who knows? Yeah, we haven't seen much stimulation yet with this stimulus package. When is it going to start stimulating? Well, they, they are getting it through Congress, which is they're talking about getting it passed by mid-February because there's a break in there. So that's really the target date in terms of when this thing will get put on the books in terms of making it happen. So. Right. The Troubled Asset Relief Program, the TARP money, they haven't had a pretty uh, good accounting for it. Yeah, that, that's a part of the second stage of this money. Last week was a big victory for Obama hitting the ground running. Uh, the Senate did go ahead and release the second half of these TARP monies. Yeah. Uh, a big part of that is accountability, making sure they know what these monies are being used for. Big problem has been banks haven't been lending with it. They've been simply using it to buy other banks or shore up their balance sheet. Mm -hmm. Um, and that has been a problem. They need to focus on the credit markets, not so much the banks. Speaking of the banks, we see they're not out of the woods yet, are they? Yeah, no, last week, uh, more bad news. Citigroup, Bank of America, both saying, hey, we're having continuing problems. Earnings came in dreadful uh, once again. They're now talking about splitting up the Citigroup in particular into mm. a good bank and a bad bank. And uh, yeah, it's it's remaining the problem uh, and will probably be uh, a wet blanket on things for a little while. All right, you, you have your tip of the week for us. What is it? Yeah, tip of the week. Uh, it's a new beginning. Uh, I, I'd say open your statements, uh, get to know your financial picture. They're painful to look at, though, Lane, i got to tell you. Yeah, well, it, it, <laughs> they're there. They are what they are. Yeah. It's better to be armed with information. Uh, beyond that, uh, know your portfolio. Know, what, know why you own something. Mm -hmm. uh, too many people come in and say, well, my, I inherited this security or whatever. Right. They really know what it is. And, and watch they, your credit, those yeah. credit scores in particular. Huh? Yeah, a big problem lately is that as credit card companies are trying to get out of the way of uh, lending and, and bad debt, they've been reducing credit limits. That therefore reduces your credit score, mm -hmm. and then when your credit score drops, your credit card rate goes up. Wow, oh. a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah but it's important. Keep your eyes on it. We will. Thank you, Lane. As Thank painful you. as it is. The little guy never gets a shot, huh? Always. <sighs> you get punished it on the for chin. not having money, and you got to pay more money. How do you get ahead? Yeah, it's tough. All right, let's mm -hmm. talk about the weather today because there's a lot going on for mm -hmm. MLK Day. Lisa Gonzalez is here with our weather. Well, the sunrise is looking pretty nice. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Just take a look at this shot. The sun peeking out over Fort Lauderdale. Good morning to you, Jim and Cynthia. Good morning to all of you at home. And you can see right now the skies is pretty clear, and temperatures are on the cool side to start you off this special day as we honor Martin Luther King Jr. right now. In Sweetwater, the temperature 58 degrees, winds calm west and 58. Key West 58, hey, 58 across the board, and the winds fairly light out of the south and the southwest. And although right now we're starting off dry, we are expecting the chance of some showers. In fact, the radar is showing us that we have some wet weather already getting close to Broward County. It's moving from west to east, and this is all associated with the first of two cold fronts that will be moving across South Florida over the next couple of days. So let's give you a wider look at that cold front. The radar satellite is showing us that right now it's draped along central Florida, bringing some wet weather already to the southwest coast and even Lake Okeechobee. All the cloud coverage and precipitation associated with this cold front is going to be pressing down south and that's why today we have a 50% chance of rain. So if you're going to be headed to the parades over in Pompano, Liberty City or in Hallandale, just keep that in mind and take your umbrella with you. Now we are expecting a warm up ahead of this cold front and it's going to be very humid so also keep that in mind and dress in layers that's what I would suggest because although we're starting off cool later on you're going to probably need to peel off a layer as the sun breaks out so here's what's going on around the rest of the country because today is a special day but tomorrow a historic day for the inauguration of our 44th president Barack Obama right now in Washington DC I'm sure a lot of preparations taking place one day away and the temperature is around 26 degrees the same for New York and Boston 22 23 in St. Louis and we're seeing the single digits and even the teens in the Midwest and the Great Lakes region. This is an improvement from last week where temperatures were well, well below zero. 35 degrees in Atlanta right now, Miami 58 degrees and come tomorrow in D.C. we're expecting those temperatures right around 30 degrees and believe it or not, speaking of the 30s, we're anticipating our temperatures to drop down to the 30s possibly by Thursday morning for the inland locations and not since January of last year have we had such cold air moving into the area. But before those two cold fronts make their way across the area, it will be humid today and later on it will be warm with temperatures in the upper 70s so the final
and a warm day. If you enjoy the warm weather, get out there today and also take your umbrella with you. The chance of a few showers. There comes that first cold from moving through today into tomorrow. So cooler breeze, spotty shower for your Tuesday. But this is the stronger cold front tomorrow into Wednesday. When you wake up Wednesday morning, you will notice a difference. A huge drop in the temperatures, the upper 40s when you wake up and then the 60s in the afternoon and by Thursday morning, the upper 30s. So the end of the week, we will see a warming trend with a mix of sun and clouds for today. 79 degrees warm breezy with a chance of a few showers. Gulfstream advisory in effect, so not a good idea for boating. And tonight temperatures start to cool down 58 degrees with a breeze. Early shower possible tomorrow. 73 the high Wednesday morning. The big chill 40s to start you off 61 in the afternoon, but even chillier Thursday morning frigid. We could call it the upper 30s near freezing for you than 67 the high by Friday 73 degrees right now sending it over to Christina Loren to get a check of your traffic. Good morning, Christina. Good morning to you, Lisette. Good morning to you at home. If you're headed out the door, heading off to work, no delays to tell you about. We had a couple crashes earlier. They've all been cleared. We do have some events to tell you about. Maybe you don't have to go to work. Freedom March and Parade in Deerfield Beach kicks off at 10 a.m. at Pioneer Park, traveling down Hillsborough Boulevard, ending at Westside Park. You're going to find another event up there in Broward County uh, coming up. We're going to talk about that in the Fort Lauderdale area. But Liberty City, 8 a.m. to noon. Parade starts down 10th Avenue, travels down 54th Street, and ending at Martin Luther King Jr. Park and the festivities will go on throughout the day till about noon there. Keepers of the Dream Art Exhibit up in Hollywood 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is something you can attend maybe if you don't uh, get the day off today. Hollywood Boulevard and Federal Highway and that is a phenomenal exhibit. I've actually checked it out myself so I highly recommend it. For CBS 4 Traffic, I'm Christina Loren. All right, thank you. New information on a CBS4 News consumer alert for you. More peanut butter products are off store shelves this morning because of a salmonella outbreak. Again, the company that sells Little Debbie snacks announced a recall of peanut butter crackers. On Saturday, Kellogg's pulled 16 products off store shelves. The government is telling consumers to avoid eating cookies, cakes, ice cream, and other foods with peanut butter for right now. At least six people have died and more than 470 people are sick because of the salmonella problem with the peanut butter. For more information on the recall and to get an email, an email alert sent to you, log on to cbs4.com slash recall. Mm, hope they get to the bottom of that. Yep. Time now is 6.52. Hey, the YouTube sensations are heading to D.C. Obama, Obama, we all agree that yes, we can. All right. Yeah. Do you know what song that was? They yeah. changed the words around. Whatever they did a really good like. job. Whatever you like. Yeah. Coming up, what else these kids had to say about <laughs> Obama's campaign and the road to the White House. You're watching CBS 4 News this morning. Yeah. This CBS 4 traffic report is a service of Mahatma Rice. Rediscover home cooking with Mahatma Rice. For great meal ideas, visit MahatmaRice.com. Netting Barn has the largest selection of the world famous Tempur-Pedic at the guaranteed lowest discount prices. You gotta feel it to believe it. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. In Florida, Davie, Tamarack, Deerfield Beach, Boynton Beach, and West Palm Beach. The Obama inauguration. It is a unique moment in the American experience, one that touches all of our lives in so many ways. As the historic event unfolds, CBS 4 News is out in our community. As you watch and listen, we'll be with you to capture the essence of what the day means to South Florida. Political reporter Michael Williams leads our local team coverage of the Obama inauguration, tomorrow starting at 5 a.m. on CBS 4 News. Keep a little change in your pocket with 49 cent hamburgers and 59 cent cheeseburgers every Wednesday and Sunday at McDonald's. Fleetwood Mac Unleashed 2009 Tour. April 23rd at Bank Atlantic Center. American Express card members only. Get your tickets now through Sunday, January 25th at 10 p.m. Before the general public on Monday, January 26th at 10 a.m. For tickets, call 1-800-745-3000 or online at Ticketmaster.com. Produced by Live Nation. Performing as part of the American Express Concert Series. We have a family room, a media room, and a backyard, but somehow everyone always ends up in my kitchen along with their messes. That's when I call Stanley Steamer. 
In no time, they get my tile and grout clean and my kitchen looking like new. Now, if only it would stay that way. Great service starts with our $99 special. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Mom, my nose feels stuffy. Why do I use new Breathe Right nasal strips for kids? To help Katie breathe better when she's congested. We used to use kids' cold medicines, but with all the recent news about their use, it's hard not to be concerned. Breathe Right kid strips are different. They're drug-free, with a simple reflex action to safely and gently open mm. kids' noses for the relief she needs and the peace of mind I need. Try new drug-free Breathe Right nasal strips for kids in adult sizes, too. Betting Minds celebrates the American spirit with the greatest names in betting and linens. You'll flip over Sealy, Stearns & Foster, Latex, Serta, Spring Air, Two-Sided Englander, Tempur-Pedic, Ralph Lauren, Wum, Serta, and more at the lowest discount prices. In Florida, Davie, Tamarack, Deerfield Beach, Boynton Beach, and West Palm Beach. Time now is 6.55. We're going to have our second coffee break of the morning. Yeah, let's have a little bit of fun. They came, they danced, they made the team. The Marlins, Mermaids, and Manatees are ready for the field. Yeah, they are. Auditions were held Sunday at FIU's main campus. More than 100 ladies showed off their moves. Let's check it out. In hopes of making the squad. And let's check out the moves. Yeah, they do have the moves. Checking and out more than the moves. So, yeah, well, that's what guys do, you know. Also, here's something for the ladies. Where are they? Where 21 are they? big but nimble. Mar there they are. Oh, yeah. uh -huh, the Marlins uh -huh. manatees. Shake it down. Break it shake down. It, break fellas. it down. Uh -huh. You know, hey, they're hey, pretty good. They can shake it. I yes, like that. Yes, they can. I was, I'm the president of their fan club. <laughs> I really like good. them. Hey, uh, also talking about hip hop, mm -hmm. this brought the sm smiles to faces across the world. People checking this out on YouTube. Love Ye it. Yeah, they're the Ron Clark Academy singers, and they are bound for Washington, D.C. Actually, they're already there. Whatever you like. These Atlanta students created this catchy rendition before the election, became a huge sensation. Even Oprah got into them. So now the presidential inaugural committee invited them to perform at four inaugural balls. And Sunday, in fact, they performed at the Georgia Democratic Brunch in Washington. They're adorable and yes, great moves, are. too. They're just so cute. Mm -hmm. Such a buzz right now, as you can imagine, in Washington, D.C. Let's look in live now, first of all, at uh, the White House because uh, there's going to be a, a new set of inhabitants there, the Obama family moving in after tomorrow's inauguration. Meantime, a live look at the Capitol building where the inaugural stage is all set up. Of course, stick with CBS 4 and CBS News for continuing coverage of the Barack Obama inauguration. Getting ready for a very exciting day only in the United States of America, folks, the best country in the world. Mm -hmm. We're back in 25 minutes with another live local update.